The most anticipated Silver Eagle release of the year is finally upon us. That is the Burnished Silver Eagle, and now available tonight in the most coveted holders in the world. That is NGC's Eagle Core. Tonight we have them in near perfect and perfect condition for you. Look at this, folks. We have that classic black Eagle Core and the red, white, and blue new X Eagle Core. We're going to get into all the details. This is a your choice. Let's just get into it. Yes, we have the 2023 Burnished Silver Eagle, an NGC certified MS69 and MS70 condition, as well as the brand new NGCX near perfect 9.9s and the NGCX perfect 10 condition. The NGC MS69 is item number 9051056009510. The NGC 70 is 905 10557. It's 905 105557. The NGC X near perfect 9.9 is item number 905 10561. It's 905 105, 10 and the perfect 10 in NGC X grade is item number 905 905-105-58. 905-10-55-8. So let's get into the difference for the four items you see on your screen. The top shelf, this one right here with the black eagle core, is graded by NGC on the standard Sheldon score, uh, scale, 70 being perfect. Tonight we have near perfect 69 and 70 is available. 109.95 for the 69. 159.95 for the 70. The Mint State 9.9 .9 and X10 that you see on the bottom, which is this red, white, and blue Eagle Core, is their new NGC X grading. Now, what they did, it's equivalent. So the 9.9 .9 is equivalent in grade to the 69, and the 10 is equivalent in grade to the 70. But what they did was to kind of bring collectors modern into the modern world of grading, similar to sports cards. Um, trading cards, video games even, magazines, comic books. comic books. They brought out this new grading scale where 10 is a perfect, perfect 10, just like in the Olympics. So it's been taken the market by storm, so very, very popular. So they brought out this brand new grading service and tonight we have options for you. So if you're a Sheldon scale collector, an Eagle Core collector, that's your top coins right there in near perfect 69 and 70. And if you wanna get in on that brand new, X 9.9 .9 and or X 10, we have those available too. Now, let's talk about just how rare these coins are. We mentioned that they're typically the most sought after and awaited Silver Eagles released every year, oftentimes being more sought after than the rare reverse proofs and the enhanced uncirculateds released in those special years where the U.S. Mint graces us with one of those iconic coins. And you see, that's because these burnished Silver Eagles typically have smaller mintages even when you compare them to the reverse proofs or the enhanced uncirculateds. It's typically the rarest Silver Eagle released every year. And since 2006, the U.S. Mint's closest mintage comparison between the proof, the coin struck just for collectors, and the burnished came in 2007 when they struck over 800,000 proof coins, but just a little over 600,000 burnished. So that meant the closest in mintage that the Proof Silver Eagle ever got to this rare burnished was still 200,000 coins away. When you can find a near perfect 69 or a 9.9 .9 with our competition, they want well over $120. We are $10 less for a near perfect version of one of the most sought after Silver Eagles released in 2023. When you can find the coin in perfect condition, they want upwards of $300. That means we are $140 less for our MS70s and we are $130 less for the perfect 10 NGCX holder. And even the, that top shelf right there, when we're talking about our competition at $120 or so, they're in that brown label. So we have the premium core with no additional charge for the same grade. So it's a savings no matter which way you look at it. Now burnished, let's just talk about what that means. It's, it's a surface of the coin. They're struck, uh, sandblasted the surface. They've been doing this since 2006 for the 20th anniversary of the Silver Eagle program, which first launched in 1986. They brought out this burnished to celebrate that 20th anniversary. And year to year, it's typically the rarest release of the year. Even 
just last year of 2022, they only made 160,000 burnished coins. And comparing that to uncirculated and proof, where they made 500, I'm sorry, the mintage figure on the uncirculated is what millions yes. and millions of coins. Now let's take a look at the population reports. Now 2023 coins are still being struck, so we're not entirely sure exactly how many the U.S. Mint has made, but we can look to prior years to get an idea of how they're going to certify out. Now in perfect 70 condition with NGC, 2022 had 350,287 regular issue West Point Mint uncirculated Silver Eagles known in perfect condition. The proof Silver Eagles would have 90,048 from the West Point Mint, went over 46,447 from the San Francisco Mint for a combined number of 136,495 proof Silver Eagles from last year in stunning, perfect 70 or 10 condition. Yet the satin finish coin from last year, just 34,631. To put that into perspective, they are almost four times rarer than the Proof Silver Eagle released last year when you're talking about a perfect 70 coin. That is rare. It's easy to see why this coin is the most sought after Silver Eagle released every single year by the US Mint. You can call in at 1-866-518-5933 or head over to our website, abccoins.com, and grab one of the most sought after Silver Eagles released every single year in near perfect MS69 and 9.9 .9 or perfect MS70 and 10 condition. Now these are what we call the new type two image. Now on the obverse, it didn't change much since 1986, but halfway through 2021, they changed the reverse design. On the obverse, they added the designer's initials under In God We Trust. So you'll see a small AW there. It's not a mint mark, it's on every single coin. It's paying homage to the original designer of the Walking Liberty half dollar where this design came from. It's an iconic image, that Walking Liberty obverse design. Now the reverse is where all the change happened. Brand new design replaced the heraldic John Mercanti design with new Emily Danstra's design. She won the Cody Award for it, and it features the eagle landing. On burnished coins, though, the difference on the reverse is that's the coins that have the mint mark. So when we turn this coin over, you're going to see there is a West Point mint mark for burnished coins. The uncirculated regular business strike coins don't have a mint mark, even though they are struck at West Point. It's important to note that even in the label above, Burnish Silver Eagle 2023W, these are the West Point coins with the mint mark, uncirculated coins with the mint mark, plus the sandblasted surface that gives you that satiny look. Yes, and if last year's population reports are anything to go by, when it comes to these coins in perfect 70 condition, the 2022 uncirculated, I'm sorry, the 2022 Burnished Silver Eagle was 10 times rarer when it comes to coins in perfect condition with NGC than the regular uncirculated struck at West Point. 34,000 versus well over 350,000. That is how much harder it is to find these coins in near perfect or perfect 70 condition. And that's because that burnished finish is something that's kind of hard to explain until you've seen it with your own eyes. It's almost similar to some of the cars you see with the matte paint job, right. where the sunlight almost reflects off of the coin, but unlike a proof, it does not come directly back at you for that mirror-like finish. It's a very unique design that is only made more spectacular with this stunning finish. But the phone line's getting a bit backed up. It looks like it will be time for us to move on, but I do recommend you grab this coin while you still can. All right, let's see what's coming up next. 